Hello everybody, it is Jimmy Nath. It is Jimmy Nath. Hello everybody, it is Jimmy Nath. Hello everybody, it is Nath here at the Course Stadium at the NRL Grand Final. Out the front of the MCG. Australian Motorcycle Grand Prix. Repco Bathurst 1000, full November. They raise vital funds and of course they save lives. Changing the face of men's health. All right, Jim, we're here with Fox League's very own Jake Juki Juke. Uh, Juki, have you done Movember before? I cannot grow a moustache to save myself. Um, I'm probably yet to hit puberty yet, so no, I, I will give it a go. Uh, and it's a great cause, obviously, but you know, my moustache is uh, embarrassing. Back when you were riding, did you ever rock a moustache? When I was racing, I got a salad vape face. So I, I, I hardly grew any hair, so yeah. I had no chance. So it's because you were going so fast, it was coming off. Well, look, Juki, if you need it for November, I'll shave mine off and give it to you. How's that sound? Yeah. Perfect, you stick it on. <laughs> Tommy, I'll ask, have you ever rocked a moustache from November before? Uh, I have actually, yeah, back in 2020. So I, I don't think I've rocked one in the race car though. So maybe there's something we could do there. Back in my day, there was a, there was a famous mechanic in here that works for Valentino Rossi, Alex Briggs. He always did the Movember thing around the world. Man, Briggs, he had different ones every year, all the different styles, up, down, round, the, the whole deal. So um, yeah, he still runs it now. One of the most stunning moustaches I've ever seen. You've, you've never shaved that thing off since you first had it on? No. Never ever thought about it? I've given it a couple of times thinking about it, and then it said when you just mentioned about November, it, it could be a it could be a thing. Yeah, yeah, it could get you to November this year and shave it off. Yeah, yeah, it would. The probably missus will kill me, but that. <laughs> what about a moustache, James? You ever ever had a crack at moustache? I'm going to have to try now. Yeah. No, you actually we actually can't let you leave this seat until you grow a full moustache. All right. <laughs> probably, Can we? Just... Oh look, that per honk if you want to mow. Honk if you want a moustache. <laughs> Obviously, we've seen the rise of the, the pencil moustache, which is happening. cleary has got one of pa them. Pa Pappy's got one. Yeah. Uh, we've seen Cam Munster rock it every now and then. Cleary's got one. Do you think it helps? I mean, these seem to be playmakers with it, but is it a thing that the playmakers are doing? Maybe it is. You know what? That reminds me of the bloke on the uh, Something About Mary with the creepy little mo. You yeah. know, that little, like, yeah. <laughs> creepy, like, yeah, 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 yeah. For me, it's Tevin. You know? Yeah, it is a little bit creepy, but um, <laughs> yeah. look, it's, it must be working for them. They're yeah. playing all right, and maybe it's the, the secret weapon. We could put a little moustache maybe on the front of the car, you know? Then the car's got one too. Well, and it's definitely going to make the car go faster, guaranteed, yeah? Well, it's not going to make it go slower. No, absolutely not. Playing the game right now in the NRL, who has the best moustache? Oh, come on. That's not even a question. We yeah. know who it is. It's Regan Campbell. It's Regan Campbell it's Gillard. Like, yeah. It's not off the debate. There's no there's no room for debate in this issue. Oh, I'd have to be Regan Campbell Gillard. But I think some other players need to start giving him some competition. Yeah. Because it says something about a man that can grow a moustache, I think. And obviously you played in the pack, you've come up against these boys. RCG, you know, he's got the aggression in the front row with the moustache. Do we need to see some more backs with moustaches? What do you think? Uh, I, th I think it'd be great to see some backs rocking the moustache, maybe a throwback to the sort of 70s. How many uh, Bathurst 1000s do you reckon you've been to? Uh, 50. Come to 50 of them. Who do you reckon had the, has the best moustache, best facial hair of all the drivers over the 50 years? Oh gosh, Gricey. Yeah. Gricey, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but who do you think could potentially grow the best moustache out there? Marco Bezzecchi. Yeah. The Italian man, he's got he's got a little bit of growth going on, like even a bit longer than yours. And, yeah. and I reckon he grows it in like two days. So I reckon he could run a cool one. I might, I might have a chat to him. Favorite rider? Who is it? Miller. And do you think Miller would look good with a mo? Oh, absolutely. Everybody looks good with a mo. Jack's pretty good, isn't he? Yeah. I reckon I'm sticking with Jack. I think I've seen him have one. And Mo them is what it's all about. Uh, they're big supporters of uh, men's health. You would have a sensational mustache. Look at the ground. What do you think, boys? Would he have a great mustache? Yeah. Look at him. Oh, what a great mustache. Callum has that beautiful moustache been under your nose? I've only had it for a couple of months now. It's not only a couple of months, you know, yep. That's some good work. He should be the face of November. That is it from us, Jimmy Nath at the Repco Bathurst 1000. That's it from Trackside here at Phillip Island. Here with our good friends at Movember. That's it for us here at the NRL Grand Final. It is Jimmy Nathan, of course. Thanks to Movember, they raise vital funds and of course they save lives, Jimmy. Yes, and it's not too late to sign up, so sign up now. Movember.com.